Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today, I am very happy to be doing a review of one of the fragrances I got from my swap with uh, Mini Mall Reviews, and it is Stormflower Eau de Toilette, or EDT, depending on the way you want to throw it. So this is the first spin-off to uh, um, Cheryl's first fragrance, Stormflower, and this... Um, was described as a more springtime, fun, airy version of her first one, which there's not a whole lot of difference, in my opinion, from the first one to this one. There is some noticeable differences, and I'll talk about that here in a second. But first, let's talk about the packaging. So, on the outside, it says Stormflower by Cheryl, or just Stormflower Cheryl. Eau de Toilette, 50 milliliters, 1.69 fluid ounces. Um, and then you've got, like, the same kind of, like, uh, main color, and then you got like the gold, um, you got like this gold trimming, which last time it was gold on the inside, and then it had like this dark purple blue trim all the way around. You have that same, um, flower design that's on the side of the packaging, and then on the back, it gives another description like it did, um, last time, and it says, New Stormflower Eau de Toilette by Cheryl is a light yet Undeniably feminine scent, captivating, captivatingly modern and playful with a hint of in, in, intrigue. A bright citrus top nuts combining lemon, sparkling lemon is, sparkling lemon, lost my point. In a sweet yet spicy bergamot sits elegantly aside a floral heart of rose, peony, and central jasmine in bloom. Warm and inviting base notes of central cedarwood, white musk, an indulgent vanilla to keep this unforgettably sophisticated and enchanting sunflower eau de toilette. Um, so the cool thing about this was most of the, um, let's see what it said. Cheryl's Trust is working in partnership with the Prince's Trust to help young people realize their potential and get their lives back on track. Um, 100,000 pounds of the proceeds from the sales of sunflower eau de toilette will be donated to Cheryl's Trust, and then you can register your charity number on the back if you would like. So like I said, this isn't a whole lot um, different from the original. This one is just simply a lighter, more springy version. Um, with this one, I feel like the lemon kind of stands out as its top note. Um, it's definitely kind of a little more citrusy and not as harsh as the last one was. Not that the last one was harsh, but the last one kind of had this edge to it that this one doesn't have. Um, it quickly goes into the heart, which I feel like the, the rose and the peony are like the standout of the, the middle of this fragrance, but I feel like that lemon is constantly um, out there on this whole entire fragrance. And then as it gets down to the base, you get a lot of that central cedar, like the cedar wood and the vanilla kind of coming together. But I feel like the lemon really carries it out through the whole entire fragrance. And I feel like this is just a very lemon and peony scent. Um, the last time, I, like I said, I really do like this fragrance. Um, I like the like a little more airy, springtimey version. Because this way, in the fall, um, the original Stormflower didn't have that edginess. But when you wore it in the springtime, it did give that kind of like harsh edginess to it that this one doesn't have. So... I have many ideas for spin-offs for the Stormflower line, and I would love for her to do more with this, because I feel like this is a, um, words I can't think of right now. This is a, a line that could be just like Britney Spears' fantasy line, where there could be many, many spin-offs to it, um, just because it is very, um, open to what it could be. Um, with this time, the only real differences on the packaging is, obviously, the bottle is like this, um, white color and then the flower is the exact same flower as it was on the original sort flower. I actually swapped them back and forth and they are the exact same flower. So anyway, as always guys, thanks so so much for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews. And as always guys, follow me on Twitter, Ada S Perfume and Instagram Monster's Perfume. Links are in the description below. Have a great day. Bye.